Hey guys, welcome back to Living in Hamilton. This video here, we're gonna be exploring one of the hidden best neighborhoods of Hamilton, Dundas. So let's go check out what living in Dundas is all about. From the pros and cons to the real estate, the parks, the local shops, and more. Now, why Dundas? I consider it a hidden gem as it's located all on the western side of Hamilton and one of the smallest communities that make up really the major neighborhoods of Hamilton. And one of the reasons Dundas is so small is because it really fits in to the Dundas Valley. And as a result of this, not only are you going to have homes with character charm, but you're going to have amazing grass root parks, green spaces to go enjoy. As you can see here, you have like a countless trail to walk on in any direction you really want for as long as you want on the Brantford Rail Trail. Now there's so much to do and more and we're gonna be exploring all that in today's video. But if you're new here, my name's Matthew, I'm a local realtor and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like eat, sleeping and playing in Hamilton, Ontario. So if you are thinking about making the move to Hamilton, send me and my team a message today to book your free relocation consult call where we can go over everything you need to know about moving to Dundas or one of the other Hamilton neighborhoods. Other than that, make sure you stick around to the end of this video here as I'm gonna be sharing not only one amazing home that's currently available in Dundas as well as my favorite spot to go eat in Dundas, but also the top reasons why my clients choose not to move here. So let's jump on into it. And our first stop is one of the most notable and unique spots in all of Hamilton, and that is Spencer's Gorge. As Spencer's Gorge is home to some of the most iconic waterfalls in all of Hamilton. And this is in your backyard when you're living in Dundas. So I'm walking, as you probably can hear behind me, or I guess to the side of me, is Webster Falls, which we'll get to in just a moment. But also, if you keep walking a little bit further, you'll also see Two's Falls, which is Hamilton's tallest waterfall, as well as Dundas Peak, where you can look back and check out Spencer's Gorge. But here we are at the Webster Falls entrance. And as you can see, it's an absolutely spectacular waterfall. Probably the second largest waterfall maybe within the Niagara region other than um, Niagara Falls of course is number one. But other than that, one of the other things you're gonna love about living in Dundas is also the amazing parks that are gonna be found throughout the city. As other than just Spencer's Gorge, you'll also find Dundas Driving Park, which is a huge park in the main part of Dundas. Perfect for any families on a summer or spring day with there being a splash pad as well as a jungle gym there. But also in the winter time, it has an outdoor rink for you to skate on those sunny winter afternoons. But then you'll also find within Dundas, Dundas Conservation Area giving you another immense of trails to explore when you're living in Dundas. Then if you like me and love golf, you definitely need to go check out Dundas Valley Golf and Curling Club or also the Rock Chapel Golf Center. Two just short drives away, no matter where you're living within Dundas. Now, another special feature about living in this community here definitely has to be your proximity to McMaster University, but also McMaster Sick Kids Hospital, some of the top rated education and healthcare you're gonna find in all of Ontario. And that great education also applies to the elementary schools and high schools here, as you're gonna find some top rated schools throughout Dundas. Some notable ones would be Dundas Secondary School, as well as Sir William Osler Elementary School. So if you are interested in learning more about the school, definitely go check out to the Fraser Institute. I'll leave a link down in the description. And then as for what you can expect for the real estate in Dundas is it's primarily going to be a detached homes, some townhomes and condos sprinkled throughout. Now the closer you are to the downtown core of Dundas, the older your home's gonna be. So right in that downtown core, you're looking at homes that were built anywhere from the late 1800s to 1920s, 1940s, and a little into the 1960s. Then as you move further out, you'll find a few different time periods that were really built in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. These here are going to really feature those small bungalows or one and a half story homes, as well as a lot of different townhomes, detached side splits and back splits, and many other great options 
to choose from. Then as you move the furthest ring and the most recent development was really anything in the 90s, early 2000s. Because of the geography that Dundas has, there hasn't been a lot more development going on in the recent years. So you're going to be finding an established neighborhood no matter what. These ones here, you're going to be finding a lot of detached homes that offer four beds and three to four baths as well. All right, so if we take a look at how the real estate breaks down in Dundas exactly, it was 69% of the real estate sales were detached homes. And there's really two primary price ranges you're going to be finding them in. The first is that 700 to $1 million mark here. You're going to find a lot of those smaller and medium sized detached homes, those bungalows or one and a half story homes, or a few side splits as well that are in established neighborhoods. And then between that $1 million and $1.6 million range, you're going to find a variety of homes in all the different Dundas neighborhoods, including some of the largest four beds, four bath detached homes. Then the next 20% of real estate was townhomes being sold. And this is primarily going to be found on the west side, as this is where the majority of those 1990s townhomes were built, offering three beds and two to three baths, selling anywhere from $500 to $850,000. And then the remaining 11% of real estate sold in Dundas were condos. And these are primarily going to be found near the downtown area and are typically going to be in those low rise buildings that offer spectacular views of the Valley Dundas sits in, selling anywhere between $400 to $800,000. So if you are interested in making the move to Dundas, send me and my team a message today where we can jump on a call, answer any more of your questions, and really dive in deep into what the real estate looks like based on your search criteria. Other than that, let's go check out this beautiful home currently available in Dundas. All right, you guys, welcome. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a four bed, three bath detached home just in Dundas, listed currently at $1.3 million. So let's go check it out. So as we flip over here, you have, of course have a beautiful little front porch to go out. But then as we walk up to the inside, you're just immediately greeted with a staircase going all the way to your second floor, which we'll check in a second, as well as this great living room, entertaining room, whatever you want it. Of course, with the natural windows also throughout. And then right beside that, you got your nice little formal dining room. But we kind of go back to the main hallway and continue forward, of course. Closet turned into a nice little mud room with a bench to take off those boots. Then if we move over here, oh, what a lovely kitchen this is. So we have a nice center island, a little countertop for you to chill on. And of course, the bay window looking out to your backyard ravine lot with this home here. So as you can see, all of this has been recently upgraded, especially the kitchen. I believe it was 2015 is when it was upgraded. And of course, you can easily access the dining room or the sitting area. And then kind of off to the other wing I see over here, you have another sitting room leading you to the backyard. Oh, nice, very nice. It's a beautiful, nice little fireplace. I love those there. But if we go on out and we really see this is obviously one of the big winners of this house here is the ravine lot you sit on. So absolutely no one at your back with actually just probably beautiful colors. We probably just missed it right now. We're at the early November. So most of the leaves are off. We got some, but I imagine this looks spectacular in September, October. Nice little deck here. A little access also to a via mud room, which we'll go check out in just a moment, but lots of opportunity to continue improving that there. So, if we head back on over to the main floor. Now, of course, if you are thinking about moving to Dundas and want help like this virtual tour here for other homes you see, send me and my team a message today. Happy always to do this for our clients. But this one here is just a nice little powder room. And of course, you got the laundry level on the main floor here. Then if we kind of head on downstairs first, we have a couple good options that are always good to see. So of course you have a nice finished basement that comes at this price point here. First, you have your nice little storage room, just to put the Christmas tree storage, nice deep freezer storage, of course. But if we kind of come over here, you got a nice little rec room and chill area. So of course, just the gym set right here. And then a nice chill spot downtown. Down, downtown, oh goodness gracious, it's been a long day downstairs as well. So if we now head on upstairs and see exactly what you can get. 
Now, this home here, I imagine was probably built in the 80s, 90s, and you're gonna see a lot of homes like this one here in Dundas. So while Dundas doesn't have as much real estate options as compared to like Ancaster, let's say, because it is smaller, when these do come on the market that is nicely renovated like this, typically they don't last long. So if we flip back, we're now at the second floor here. We have the master bedroom right off to the front. Nice little fireplace TV. Got the ensuite with me, of course. His and her sinks. And then on the flip side, nice toilet shower. It's actually a really nice little shower with a bench, a little rainfall shower there. Then a beautiful walk-in closet with a bunch of natural light as well with that window there. A nice little set, closet set. Then if we head on over here, we have the main powder room for upstairs. So a nice large vanity. And then a nice tub with a glass door. Then if we head over to the second bedroom upstairs. Of course, this is a boys' room, but you guys see the great potential. And this one here is actually looking out to the backyard and the ravine. Let's go Raptors, okay. Then if we go over one more, we have the third bedroom. It's a nice size bedroom, perfect for another office or a guest bedroom. And then the fourth bedroom right here. This is probably the biggest of the three bedrooms, also a great size. That's what I mean by the view you get from this home here. Just absolutely spectacular. So you are going to be finding a lot of homes in Dundas that have this nature around it like we've chatted about before. So if you are interested in making the move here, send me and my team a message today to book your free relocation call. Let's take a look now at Dundas's public transit score and see how it compares to the rest of Hamilton. So Dundas's walk score was an 83 compared to that of Hamilton's 50. And this is because all the homes in Dundas are pretty much going to be a short walk away from the downtown area, allowing you to get all your amenities where a lot of other parts of Hamilton are going to be more car dependent than this small community Dundas is here. Now, with that said, depending on what neighborhood you are living in Dundas, there's still going to be some neighborhoods that are very car dependent that don't have much walking access to them. Then as for the public transit score, Dundas rated a 44 compared to that of Hamilton's average of 45. So there is some decent busing options available in Dundas that do give you easy access down to downtown Hamilton or out to Aldershot Go to take the GO train to Toronto. But overall, you're going to be expecting still a little bit of extra time added when you're adding in the public transit here. And then as for the bike score, what Dundas got was a bike score of 68 compared to that of Hamilton's 50. And I think this is due to Dundas being able to branch out to all these amazing walking paths and trails. And because of that, if you're just enjoying a nice leisurely bike through the thing or want something that's a bit more difficult like mountain biking, you can definitely find that here as well. And then as for when you're driving around Dundas, you're going to notice a few different bottlenecks that really do pop up during those rush hour times. Now, overall Dundas once you get off the major roads it's pretty smooth sailing within the neighborhoods however you are going to be noticing some bottlenecks one just in the downtown area especially along the main strip where the majority of those restaurants bars and shops are located the second areas that will get backed up the most will be really the choke points leaving Dundas's valley so you got two ones both are going to be leading you up to Main Street and Main Street at times can definitely get backed up I know my time here during McMaster University I used to drive this daily and I could tell you no matter what time of day it was especially during the rush hour times it was always backed up and I was just seemed like I was always hitting the red lights before you hit the 403 and grab the highway and then you do have a few back roads if depending on where you're commuting it makes sense where you can jump on to a Dundas which does go a bit smoother uh, through the back roads however you could definitely hit some traffic when you hit Dundas and especially when you get near highway 6. So now let's head out and go check out the downtown area of Dundas. All right, here we are in the downtown part of Dundas. Here is where you're gonna find the majority of your local shops, your local restaurants you need to go check out, as well as many community events happening here year around. Now, when you take a stroll through downtown Dundas, what you're gonna really notice is that 1800s architecture and just the beautiful small town charm it has to offer you. Now, also inside the downtown area of Dundas, there's many great local businesses. I'd highly recommend 
you check out when living here. Some of my personal favorites are the Thirsty Cactus for Mexican food that does not disappoint. You have Jack's Sweet Shop for an amazing brunch or afternoon sweet treat. You have Colin's Brew House to enjoy a beer. Would highly recommend getting their Euro burgers. But then you also have Detour Cafe to enjoy a latte and read a good book. And then just a short walk outside of the downtown strip of Dundas. You have Sean and Ed Brewing, an amazing beer company that you need to check out as well. And then if you're interested in picking up the freshest produce, you can also find the Dundas Farmer's Market happening here every week during the warmer months. And then just a short drive outside of the downtown core, you'll find Dimites Glen Drummond Farms, which is an absolutely perfect spot to go get your fresh produce if you can't make it on that farmer's market weekend. Other than all those amazing local businesses in downtown Dundas, just sitting on top of Dundas's Valley, you're gonna find this plaza here as well. That's gonna cover all your other basic amenities that you need. And this is University Plaza. And here you're gonna find everything from a Canadian Tire, a Shoppers Drug Mart, a home Home Depot as well as a variety of different restaurants ranging from Osmos where you can grab and go all the way up to Eastside Mario's but perhaps my favorite place you need to check out when you're in Dundas is the bagel house in my opinion some of the best bagels in my opinion the number one bagel actually in all of Hamilton so let's go check it out and see what I get alrighty guys so just grab my go-to order at the old bagel house right behind me here now what I usually get I try to always go in and say I'm gonna get one bagel end up always getting two or more so today we got two breakfast bagels so in my opinion the breakfast best breakfast bagels to let out of my car uh in all of hamilton like i was mentioning so i asked her to load it up on the spicy mayo as they have some great spicy mayo but what truly makes these bagels what i think is different from all the other bagels i have is it has that everything i want in a bagel it's hard and chewy on the outside but then flopped soft and just amazingness on the inside so if we just rip this apart here what half our bagel looks like but would highly recommend when you're in the dundas area absolutely checking this place out so let's take a bite and see how it is i already know it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. so an absolute great spot you need to go check out now since you stuck around to the end i'll share the three primary reasons why my clients choose not to move here all right so the first reason why my clients choose not to move here is one the limited real estate options that are available in dundas and what i mean by that is just the total real estate available is going to be about one third the size of some other community like ancaster and therefore just finding a home in dundas tends to be a lot harder the second reason why my clients i find don't move to dundas is because of the real Real estate prices as while well, dundas isn't the most expensive place to buy real estate in hamilton it definitely gets up there and then the third reason is because of the added extra time to get to the highway while it's not that much in retrospect compared to some other communities in hamilton for some of my clients it just is a little too much and want easier access to the highway or easier access to toronto so if you are interested in making the move to Dundas, send me and my team a message today. But if you are interested in learning more about Dundas right now, right off to the side here, you can go check out my playlist going over everything you need to know about Dundas, Ontario.